If you wanna know how to light an interview with three lights, this is the video for you. First thing that we wanna do is shut off the overhead lights in the space. Unless we're gonna use those overhead lights, typically we wanna turn those off because we want full control over the lighting in the scene. So we wanna turn off all the overhead lights. The next thing that we wanna do is expose for the natural lighting in the room. Since we have windows in this shot, we're gonna to wanna to knock down the exposure so that we can see through the windows and the windows aren't gonna be overexposed. What we're gonna to use to bring the exposure down is these variable ND filters here. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like in the camera. I talked about this in my last video, but this softbox, couldn't recommend it more. This thing is incredible. It's so fast and easy to set up. There's a little system on the inside. All you have to do is push down and this thing expands and you're good to go. You can literally set it up in 10 seconds. And just like that, softbox is ready to go. Here's our key light all ready to go. So when we have the light coming across the subject right here, it's gonna provide nice shadow fall off across their face. And you're gonna see a little triangle of light here on the opposite side of their face. That's what we call Rembrandt style lighting. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like here. Our second light is gonna be our hair light. The purpose of the hair light is to provide separation from your subject in the background. It's gonna cast a nice little bit of a glow over top of the head of your subject. Before we jump to the next step, if you wanna turn your videography business into a six-figure income and full-time career, the best next thing that you can do in my slightly biased opinion, is get a free copy of my book below, Film to Freedom. I've included all the strategies and tactics that I use to turn my videography business into a six-figure income and full-time career into this book, the 240 pages in this book. So click the first link in the description to get a copy for free. That's right, completely free for you just for watching this video. For our hair light, we are gonna use this Nanlite Pavo tube right here to match this practical light that we've got in the background right here. This lamp that we found in the background, we're gonna utilize that. That's gonna be our motivation for this hair light that we have right here. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this up to the C-stand using this little knuckle thing right here. I don't know what this is called, but I'll find out and I'll link it in the description below. These things are incredibly handy. The amount of times that you need some sort of tool where you can adjust the angle that you have a light or a microphone or something connected to a stand of some sort, I would highly recommend picking one of these guys up. I learned this trick from Epic Light Media. Shout out Epic Light Media. Everyone, you should go check out their channel after this video. Awesome information and they're hilarious dudes. I have a quick tip, total hack for you guys here. Pick up a couple wheels that you can put on the bottom of your C-stand. These things are so handy, it makes it really easy to just move your C-stand throughout your shot. So wherever you need it set up, you can just wheel your C-stand around and then you're good to go. A lot easier than having to pick up a C-stand with lights attached and a sandbag attached to it. I'll link these in the description below as well. Our hair light right here casts a little bit of a glow over top of the hair of the interviewee and provides that separation between the interviewee and the background. It's really subtle, but it provides just a nice little effect in the shot that makes it look a little bit more cinematic. Here's the shot with no hair light. And here's the shot with the hair light. Our third and final light is going to be the Aperture 120D right here. We're gonna use this as a fill light for the room. So this is just gonna pump a lot of light into the back of the room to lift the overall exposure of the room up. It's pretty dark in the background without it because we've got so much light coming through the windows. There's a fresh blanket of snow on the ground, so that's reflecting a lot of light through the windows. So we wanna pull up the exposure a little bit. So this is what we'll be using. This is, once again, the Aperture 120D right here at 100%. It's not the most powerful light. That's why I like to use my Godox VL for the key light, but it does a good job of just adding a little bit of additional light into the background. Here's what the shot looks like without our fill light on the room. And here's what the shot looks like with the fill light. With that, we've got all of our lights set up. Here's what the final interview looks like. I hope you enjoyed today's video about how to set up an interview with three lights. If you found value in this video, please hit the like button below. If you wanna see more videography tutorials in the future, please hit subscribe. And don't forget to get a free copy of my book at the first link in the description below. I'll see you in the next one.